Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds at a UFC catch weight of 150 pounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, an undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record. 13 wins, no losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Sunshine Republic of Ishkashuetsha, Russia, Mozar Evloev. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a wrestler holding a professional record, 30 wins, 11 losses, two draws, one no contest. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Nick the Cardi Lance. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Lucas Bosaki. Lucas Bosaki, our referee, had a great night here on Wednesday. Good referee. Yes, he did. Fine octagon girl as well, Red De La Cruz. Mavsar Iapoyev has the respect Fight. of the odds makers and the betting public. A minus 700 favorite oh. tonight. Nick Lentz coming back at plus 500. And if you don't know the story, yeah, minus 700. So 700 will pay you 100 bucks. Oh my goodness. Nick Lentz opens with a thigh kick there. And if you don't know the story on Nick Lentz, he had a very serious eye injury. A nerve was clipped. It affected his other eye. Couldn't see for nine months. Told us on Wednesday of last week in our fighter meeting that he got used to double vision. So a pretty miraculous situation here as Lance lands the, lands the shovel uppercut that he's even competing. Somebody's a, a kid that this, this young is a minus 700 favorite over Nick Lentz speaks to what the odds makers think of this young man. Nick Lentz is as tough as they come. And he told us in that same meeting, Johnny's upset the UFC on so many different occasions. This is nothing new. They put him in there with these kids, right. these prospects, and he goes and he beats them. And he had planned on doing the same exact thing tonight to Evloyev. And he's starting strong. A couple good kicks, gets the takedown, but Evloyev just reverses that, that was with beautiful. no problem. That was beautiful. He just he just followed the momentum. You know, when Nick tripped him going backwards, he just followed the momentum. Lentz made his UFC debut all the way back in 2009 at UFC 103. Paulie, you see Nick trying to set up the Kimura. Look at Avloyev using his head to not allow him to get his body off to the opposite side. But now Nick jumps. Gotta be it. careful here. Yeah. yeah. This is, this is Nick, Nick Lentz's move, and he's tightening this up. It's starting to get tight in there. Avloyev's trying to pass. Oh. Uh-oh. He cannot let Nick get him in the full guard. Oh, oh he's boy. Roll. This is getting tight for Nick Lentz. Oh, oh, my goodness. Nick's got him in the mouth. That's tight. That is really tight. This is Nick Lentz's move right here. He's looking to upset these odd makers right now, I'll tell you that. Look at Avloyev, though. Look at how calm he is down there. Not he's panicking. Get out of it, I think. Yep, he's not panicking. He's not out. freaking out. Wow. And look at him give up the position to improve to the get position, out. Yeah. right? He gave it up to improve it. Nice day. What a great job by this young man. Wow. A lot of fighters would have succumbed to that. Yeah. Did Nick Lentz guillotine. We've seen it, John, on so many different occasions. Eight career wins by submission for Lentz coming in. Three by way of the guillotine. Wait for it. Wait for it. Lentz, former D1 wrestler at the University of Minnesota. His 68 takedowns coming in. Top five all time in UFC history. Nick's just hanging on that, that front headlock, man. Oh, beautiful pass by Avloya. And perhaps a sigh of relief for his jiu-jitsu coach, Pahumpa, that Lomsar <laughs> Avloya seems to be out of harm's way. And I would also point out, last fight for Yevloyov against Mike Grundy, he found himself in another compromising spot early in a choke. His takedown defense was tested, so has showed off some pretty good submission defense in his last two UFC starts. Yeah, this boy can grapple. Yeah. And Evloyev, he gives up takedowns, right? Like, he's been able to give up takedowns. Grundy was able to score a lot of takedowns, but he was never able to quite control him. And turn those takedowns into anything. And look, Nick gets him again in the guillotine again. Gotta watch this. When it starts to get tight, if it starts to get tight, you'll see Avloyev roll to his back to change the angle of the choke. He's still trying to step that knee through. Pass the half guard. It's obviously not that dangerous for him right now because he isn't rolling. 
Right, he's continuing down the path. Looks like his head is about to pop here pretty soon. Lenz came into this fight with the most guillotine choke attempts in UFC history with 20. One minute here to go in round one. It's crazy to watch a Vloyev in these chokes and never truly show any sort of emotion. No, like unreal. Blank unreal. Face. Yeah. He never shows that it's affecting him in any way, shape, or form. Well, tonight the biggest superstar in the sport is back. Conor McGregor makes what he hopes will be a triumphant return and a rematch six years in the making opposite Louisiana's Dustin Poirier. There is still time to purchase UFC 257 only on ESPN+. Nice ground and pound here from Ivloyev. Ooh, a big right hand there to the top of the head of Nick Lentz. That might have hurt Ivloyev's hand to be honest. Right. <laughs> it's not the spot you want to be punching. Yeah, that did not sound good. If your kid hits his head, you want him falling there. Final seconds of round one, and a strong way to close it out for Mobsar Ivloyev. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Nick's beat up. Yeah. Yeah, some of those shots at the end were, were solid from Ivloyev. It's fine, yeah. Composure, buddy. Get it back together. Good rhythm in the beginning. Stay with it. Don't rush the takedowns. Get your composure back, Nick. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here from round number one. Nice uppercut, shovel uppercut. Eats a left hand on his way in as well, though, from Ivloyev. And this guillotine got very tight. Switched it over into a mounted guillotine. But Ivloyev didn't panic, found his way out. And this is how it ended with some good ground and pound from the top and busted up Nick Lentz's face. Solid work from both guys in that round. But Ivloyev kept top position and controlled most of that fight other than being stuck in a guillotine. Well, UFC Fight Pass is better than ever, bringing you live combat sports from around the globe, the best original shows in all of combat sports, action-packed movie thrillers, in-depth looks toward Hall of Fame athletes, and the largest fight library in the world. Sign up today and start streaming at UFCFightPass.com. You heard my guy Cami Barzini trying to tell Nick to get his composure, right? He started well, but then he started to let, let it get away from him a little bit as the Vloya really started to find his flow towards the end of the round. That's a beautiful ground attack. Oh, nice right hand there from Lentz. Lentz was initially scheduled to compete against Mike Grundy here on Fight Island. Mike Grundy just so happened to have been Mofsar Iavloyev's last opponent, so fairly easy transition for Lentz. And Nick Lentz has been doing this so long, he said, man, ah, this doesn't affect me. Opponent switches and all this other stuff. Yeah. Doesn't really bother me. He just don't want to have a cup of coffee with you. That's I'm, all. I'm looking at some of these tweets, and everybody scored it for uh, Lentz, some right. of the last guy. Right. Submission attempts. It's very rare that you see a guy winning a fight when he's fighting mostly from his back. We saw it a while back um, on a couple of occasions, but it's not very frequent that you see a guy winning on judges' scorecards when they're on their back as much as Nick was. Sounds like both of you guys lean Ivloyev. Yeah, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, especially when you look at the stats. I mean, Ivloyev has landed 36 and, you know, out, out of 50 shots. To oh, nice shot there by Mobsar and retreats thereafter. <laughs> Heavy leg kick lands for Nick Lentz in response to the Avloyev strike. Yeah, and Lentz's face really showing the damage from these shots from Avloyev. Oh, 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 nice takedown again here from Lentz, looking for that neck. He jumps right on that neck, man. And this time, look at the elbow starting to go high here. You hear Pahupa tell him, just control the wrist. As long as a guy can't really get the lock, you're okay. Again, that got tight. He's got to watch dipping his head in there, yep. but Lentz is just bailing out for the ski every, every time. Nick jumps to that guillotine and it, it gets tight. Nice roll through there. <laughs> nice job by Lentz to yeah. greet Ivloyev with a couple shots yeah, there after shots the mission attempt failed. Nick Lentz's guillotine is so dangerous that every time you try to attempt a takedown, he just jumps on your neck, and the next thing you know, you're defending. You're not even thinking. Nice knee there from Lentz as well. 
again, I've talked about it when, when he was walking out. His striking has looked better and better every time we see him inside the octagon. Nice jab. Nick is just filthy, though, man. He's just like a filthy fight. I asked him about that in the meeting. I go, can you make it into just a dirty, filthy fight against this kid? And he was like, absolutely. That was a solid jab from Igloyev. History is going to look back fondly on this Nick Lentz career. 14 UFC wins coming in. Realized a lot of success at 55 before moving down. Four and three in the UFC at featherweight coming in. And Nick is the type of guy, you know, this is like if, if when a guy is trying to make their way up in a division, they got to fight guys like Nick Lentz, veterans that are game and are not looking to let you use them as a stepping stone. Nick Lentz has no desire to be anyone's stepping stone, and he's putting the loyal in a very difficult fight tonight. Well, what happened there? Oh, man. Is that an eye poke or a yeah, punch? Nick grabbed the eye, and that's always worrisome, right, when he had the injuries that he had. Yeah, that's scary for him. Clash of heads, possibly. Nice jab from Mavsar, follows up with another one there. Nice movement. Once again, Lentz jumps that guillotine, front headlock, pulls him down to the mat, hangs on him. It's exhausting trying to get him into a position to jump on that guillotine again. He's got to try to clear the right leg. Mavsar's doing a great job of kind of using the KC control, pushing that leg across. So, oh. oh, man, you can hear him gurgling <laughs> <up> there. <laughs> That's crazy because he had him turned sideways and they got pressure on him with that guillotine. Crazy pace in this fight as we come down the stretch in round two. Yeah, this is an exhausting pace these guys are fighting at. So much grappling and for Evloya constantly fighting out of guillotines and Lentz, it takes energy to squeeze like that. Yeah. See the advantage for Ivloyev in the significant strikes here in this round. That was a beautiful angle change there by Ivloyev. When Nick tried to go into the clinch, he just stepped off to his right, cleared the position, gone before Nick lets to catch up to it. Another competitive round in the books. Right here you see Evloyev enter, gets clipped with a counter right hand by Nick Lentz. Beautiful overhand right by Evloyev. As Lentz is coming up, he lands another short right hand in there. Look at that uppercut. I think that may be what cut Nick Lentz. There was also a bit of a headbutt yeah. in the middle of that round yeah. where Lentz went Five minutes, with Nick. So hey. very close fight. He's fading. Take it to him. Good head movement, man. Don't stay center. Elusive, right and left. Nick, chop him. Hey, leg kicks are landing. Don't hesitate, but stay off center. Hey, five minutes, give me your best. Here. You gotta put him away. Well, tonight you may have heard the biggest superstar in the sport is back. Conor McGregor makes what he hopes will be a triumphant return in a rematch six years in the making. Opposite Louisiana's finest, Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Still time to purchase UFC 257 only on ESPN+. Plus. Might as well get it out of the way now. All right, third and final round. Mob Surrey, Vloyev, Nick Lentz. DC, Kami Barzini looking for some leg kicks out of Nick Lentz as long as he gets off that center line. Yes, absolutely. Don't stay in the middle. And also, he said, you know, you got to finish him. You know, I think they're very aware of how close this fight is. And, you know, from my point of view, it feels like a boy have won both rounds. But uh, from the tweets of the first round and, and, and the corner of a boy, they think it's much closer. Boy, I'm really listening to the corner. They asked for that. They wanted to feint to the jab. It's exactly what he did. He's landing those jabs, man. Good stick there by Lentz. Backs it. Boy, up. Yeah, this is a dog fight between these two guys right now. Especially when they clinch up. Both throwing good uppercuts. Lentz mixing his kicks in really well. The way of Loyev throws the lead right hand, Paul, he never throws it with 100% intensity, right? He just touches Sticks Nick. It. Yeah. He throws it out there and he touches you. He doesn't really try to set on it as much because he knows when you load up, it won't land. 
Nice jab by both guys. And these are two super intelligent men and fighters. Evloyev has degrees in computer science and law. Nick Lentz is a professional futures trader. So, Paul, if you need some stock picks, maybe Lentz no, is your guy. I have to sit down with him back at the hotel. And Nick Ooh. finding a lot of success. You know, he used that time to get better at that profession when he was away from fighting and did really well for himself. All right, programming alert, folks. If the Kentucky LSU college basketball game goes long on ESPN, we will stay right here on ESPN Plus and we'll be simulcast on ESPN News until the game ends. 11 point game, just under six minutes to go at present. We will keep you updated. I, I think this kid of Loyev has such good striking, man. The way he's so patient, he's so calm, he moves in and out of range. He's not really allowing Nick Lentz to keep up with him. Okay. I'm okay. Watch your fingers. I'm okay. Fight. We're always glad to hear Lentz say he's okay when it comes to that eye. He changes levels here. Kimura attempt. Not gonna happen. He was trying to use the Kimura to switch positions. You've seen that more and more in mixed martial arts. Guys use the Kimura as a bit of a trap in order to use the action and the momentum to take you backwards, to get back to their feet, or avoid getting taken down. Man, Ivloyev is just non-stop, always trying to touch yeah. and damage Lentz. He's fantastic, John. This kid can fight, man. And I know that he's not one of those prospects that, oh, that little check left hook. That was that nice, out. right? Oh, nice right hand there from Ivloyev. That one. Caught the kick and then countered beautifully. He's not one of those prospects that's just out there finishing everybody, but the level of competition that he has faced in his first few UFC fights is second to none, man. And this will be his fourth win in a row. And you put Nick Lentz on that list after beating Mike Grundy and Enrique Barzola, he's staring on the barrel of a real big fight. Oh, nice head kick for Mijavloyov. Still some work to do, though, under 90 seconds to go. I think he's got Nick at a point now where he's kind of beat him down, touched him yeah. up enough now. And Nick's just kind of on the receiving end now. He's got to do something special to get himself back into this fight because the boy of his flowing now. There's another jab. That was a jab. That was clean, but you saw Lentz really wince that right eye. Kind of touching him, man. Oh. Yeah, he's really wearing these shots, guys. Getting touched up. Lentz is getting touched up, man. Oh, a nice chunk of blood just go flying there. Look at the movement from Evloya. Always cutting angles. Doesn't stand right in front of Lentz to get countered. Touch, 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 then he'll yeah, throw a big shot. Beautiful. I mean, it looks fresh, too, Paul. Yeah, he's in shape. Defended all those guillotine attempts. Didn't have to cut much weight. Had to defend takedowns, and he looks like he can fight for another two rounds like it's nothing. He has attempted north of 200 strikes, under 30 seconds now to go. <laughs> Look at those counts. Oh. Man, did you see that head movement? That's clean. Man. You know, Paul, I mean, don't be surprised when we go to the judges' scorecard if you see a lot of 30-27s. I mean, this young man fought a clean fight tonight outside of those having to defend guillotine. Yeah. And he never truly showed us that he was in any trouble, even though those guillotines seemed to be tight. Yeah, he, he stayed so calm and relaxed. And, uh, such a good grappler himself. And a beautiful striking on display tonight as well from Ivloya. And he was sharp as oh. attack in that Love third me. round, looking to move to 14-0 oh. and 4-0 oh and and oh in the UFC. Oh. All right, let's take a look at some of this action here. Lentz early. Lentz, a nice uppercut. Gets hit with a counter, though. And this guillotine, man, we thought this was tight and might be a finish. But Ivloyev kept calm, stayed composed down there, showed his grappling skills, and then just got on top to end that round with some beautiful ground and pound. And that is when he started really busting up the face of Nick Lentz. Look at this beautiful catch, the kick, counter right hand. Nick Lentz, I mean, as tough as they come, gave it back whenever he could. But just the movement and striking of Ivloyev was beautiful tonight. I mean, it, yeah, it was a van, it was a fantastic performance. I mean, I'm I'm so impressed by this young man and his ability to just flow out there. It's crazy. 
And he loves breaking guys mentally and physically. Nick Lentz is sort of the unbreakable type. Yeah. But this guy, you get a feeling, is going to realize a lot of success in this UFC featherweight division. And yeah. I mean, it's hard not to think when you see volume and output about what Max Holloway did a week ago in this building north of 700 yeah. strikes. But this guy can go. I mean, he, you know, he's well over 200 in, in three rounds. And, you know, he's, it's different, right? He's not from Dagestan. He's from the same region, you know, in the Cox Mountains, but different place. Maybe you'll see a, a rush of guys fighting out of that area, too, with a more stand-up approach like we saw tonight from Evloyev. The Republic of Ingushetia, Mavsar Evloyev. Has he done enough? Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Eric Cohen scores the contest, 29-28, Lentz. Ben Cartley scores it, 29-28, Evlev. And Paul Sutherland.